Hi guys, okay, I usually record videos every day on Instagram and I did this video on Instagram television but people said it was a little bit difficult to find so I've decided to put it on YouTube. So today we're going to learn about seven top tips to improve your writing in English. A lot of people know that I'm a, a teacher, that I, I worked in Cambridge, in London for seven years, and now I live in Belo Horizonte in Brazil. But what some of you don't know is that I also trained at university to be a writer. And at the moment, not only am I writing a book uh, that one day I hope you love, I'm also a professional video games journalist. So I work as a teacher and a video games journalist, which is amazing because I love video games. I love them a little bit too much. Um, so it's my passion, it's my love. So if you want to talk about video games, boop, downstairs in the comments, por favor. And if you want to talk about English, please write down there as well. So today, seven top tips to improve your writing. And they're easy tips. They're very basic tips. Tip number one is make notes. Okay, so here they are. I wrote these down. Before you write anything, or before I write anything, I always make notes. Uh, it's about planning. It's about knowing what you want to say. So for example, today, before I made this video, I wrote down everything that I wanted to talk about so I didn't forget. So if I'm writing a video games review or an IELTS essay, I talk about my opinion. Um, beforehand, I know what I want to say. I talk about the graphics, the, the sound, the blah, 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 the story, whatever. That's in a video game review. In an IELTS essay, I know the main opinion I want to write down. I write down some useful vocabulary and things like that. The beginning, the middle, and the end. Everything needs an introduction, a middle, and a conclusion. So you should know roughly before you start writing what you want to write. It's all about planning and structure. Which brings me on to number two. Links and structure. Okay, so sounds very similar. But this is about linking things. There needs to be a continuous flow. It, it can't be just like da 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 boom, da 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 boom, different points. There needs to be some kind of organization. It comes back to the structure. It needs to lead to the end. So quite often in IELTS, they say one big opinion, two smaller opinions. So they need to filter into each other. I'll give you an example. In my video games reviews, I'll say something like, if it's the sequel, the, the second game, uh, I'll talk about the blah, 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 and the sequel improves on the predecessor. Next paragraph, I will start talking about the predecessor. It's all about structuring, linking, and making sure that everything has a natural flow. Top tip number three, short sentences, short paragraphs. A lot of my students write these huge, flowing, long sentences that kind of just burn out and they, they, they get really lost in what they want to say. Short sentences. Don't be afraid to, to, to put one or two ideas in a sentence and then move on and continue the idea in the second sentence. Likewise, short paragraphs. When I write a video games review, and if you want, I'll send you a link to one of my reviews, I write maybe two, three, five lines maximum, new paragraph. Five lines, new paragraph. Don't be afraid to be concise. Which brings me on to number four. Boom, synonyms. Okay, tell you this was all about planning. I talked about this in the first point, the planning point. Writing down vocabulary. Synonyms are really important. I'll give you a great example. The word nice. I live in Belo Horizonte and it's nice. The weather's nice, the food is nice, the people are nice. Nice, 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 nice. It's boring. Not only is it boring, if you're writing an IELTS essay, a TOEFL essay, the examiner will look at that and think, okay, this person does not have a range of vocabulary. In exams, you are marked on a range of vocabulary. So, for example, instead of the word nice, I could use lovely, fantastic, wonderful, great, awesome. Let me give you a better example. I live in Belo Horizonte, which is a fantastic city. The weather is amazing. The food is incredible. And the people are some of the loveliest people I've ever met. See? Much more interesting. So, before you write your essay, maybe you want to talk about, in IELTS, it's something like infrastructure. 
so you write down words like metro, train, uh, lorries, infrastructure, roads, lots of different words that you can put in. But if you just talk about trains are good and trains are nice and trains are dead, if you talk about the metro, the railway, the underground, the train lines, the tracks, different words connected to trains, your writing looks a lot more interesting and you will get a higher mark. Tip number five, voice. Voice is all about your personality coming through. So certain essays you need to be objective, no opinion. This is about having a neutral voice. But in something like an opinion essay, you need to put your opinion through. Do not be afraid to let your voice come through. When I write, you can hear me in my writing. So if you read my video games review, you can see my sarcasm. Naturally, I like to joke, okay? Da -da 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 -da. Joke, da -da 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 -da. joke. This is not always good if you're writing an opinion essay, an essay on politics, an essay on news. So, you need to choose your voice and you need to choose the tone of the essay. Work out beforehand if the essay is going to be formal, if it's going to be informal, what kind of essay you're writing. Top tip six. <laughs> Editing. I made this video today. I made lots of mistakes. My dogs were going crazy in the background. I needed to edit the video. Do not be afraid to edit your writing afterwards if you're writing on the computer. Obviously, if it's an exam situation, it's a little bit more difficult. When you write something, make sure you check it afterwards. There's always ways you can add something or remove something. Quite often when I write something, it's not, I know this is amazing, but it's not perfect first time. Sometimes it's not even perfect on the third time or the fourth time, but no. So you need to proofread it. You check your writing after you've written it. Quite often there is a sentence without an end or you've changed your mind halfway through and the, the sentence makes no sense. The paragraph doesn't link very well, something like this. So always check your writing. Make sure you have that little bit of time at the end to check your writing. And the final tip, tip number, boom, boom, seven, is practice. Practice, practice, practice. When I first started writing, my writing was okay, but it's so much better now. And do you know why? It's because I do it every day. Practice, practice, practice. If you don't practice, all of the skills that came before, they're meaningless. I know it's boring sometimes if you need to practice over and over again IELTS essays, but I highly recommend it because you will learn from your mistakes. You will learn how to make things quicker. You will learn how to structure. For example, in IELTS you should do firstly, secondly, blah, blah, blah. On the other hand, linking words, great vocabulary, I'm going to do a video on it, but you should make sure you put them into practice. Don't go into an exam blind, don't write a, write a piece of writing and expect everybody to love it first time, because even if you've got all the other things, the voice, the synonyms, the things like this, there's always going to be someone that says, you know, you could improve that, listen to the criticism. And those are my seven easy top tips. I hope this video helped. I hope a lot more people get to see it because on Instagram people couldn't find it. I hope you have a great day and write down in the comments, okay, uh, if you want to ask me questions about writing, about English, about video games, you can talk all day about video games. And also, if you have any suggestions for anything else that you'd like me to record a video, I'm going to try and record a video at least once a week for YouTube. But on that note, I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful week. Ciao. Hi, I'm Baby Honey. If you liked my dad's video, like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for new videos, write them down in the comments below. Ciao.